the 34 Ford. We're back on the Street Beast convertible. Now, anybody that's been following this little project knows that we've had major, major, major shit going wrong with it. Matter of fact, at this time right here, this time right here, still need to get a fucking transmission for it. The transmission never was fixed properly. We went ahead and got a reconditioned transmission, not a rebuilt, reconditioned, manufactured transmission. And we got that coming. And then we'll put that in, then hopefully that'll be done. But what I'm doing right now, I'm uh, putting the convertible top on the car. And we're actually going to modify that. We're going to chop that down approximately three or four inches. If you look at that back bow right there, you can see that thing is way too high. It's way too high. And then the front bow, it's even high. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut them two bows off. We're going to go ahead and take three or four inches out of them motherfuckers. Now, when I say three or four inches, I'm talking about right here. All right. And when I do that, when I go ahead and do that, what's going to happen is I'm going to cut this off. I'll take out what I want to here, but when I drop it down, it's actually going to make this bar too short because a car is built like this. All right. Everything at the top is actually shorter than the bottom. It gets wider as it goes down. So we'll have to slice that baby right here. I'll go get me some tubing that matches that. And then I'll weld it on here, weld it on there. And then in the center here, I'll go ahead and add a piece. And then on this piece here, this is our front bow. What we'll do is we're going to put, probably take about an inch out of this. We're going to have to do the same thing and uh, get this top down. Now, this piece right here is, goes actually goes right here. So you kind of can see where we're going to be going with this. We're going to start right here, we're going to lower this, and then we're going to bring this right here, and then it's going to come here, and then down. So it's going to have a nice little chop to it. Uh, this is a, a, a piece of shit that actually is sold by this company, and um, since the company went out of business, the owner was unfortunate to buy one from, so he had to buy one from uh, somebody that just happened to have one, and it took a couple of years to find it. Of course, my friend Pete found it for him. And uh, it was a bitch. It was a real fucking bitch finding this top and uh, hopefully making it work. Now, we also got a problem up here. This is our front bow, you might call it, that actually wraps around here. And I got to weld some steel inside here so I can mount the top to the window frame. So it's uh, still fucking a big situation. It's a situation that says, you know what? I'm not fucking giving up. I'm not going to quit working on this. I'm not going to, uh, you know, tell the guy to come get the car. I'm going to finish this piece of shit. I'm going to get her done and I'm going to do it right. Because that's really what it's all about, doing it right and not fucking being a loser ass piece of shit quitter to say, hey, I don't want to fuck with it. Like most people would. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie the Body Shop Girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. down shut it down okay that's better all right so last night uh, we went ahead and got the top all mounted on there and you can see it kind of looks like a clown act at that top with that uh, that back bar so what we got to do now is we got to chop that top down now once again when we chop the top on this uh, fucking thing uh, we're gonna have to do a few splices and dices on it because once again the car is built like this so everything on the top of the car is littler than the bottom of the car did you know that? 
You didn't know that? That car is built like a cone? No. Okay, look how wide it is on the bottom, skinny at the top. Well, yeah, I see that, but it's not like that. Well, that's how a car is built. Every car in the world is built like that. Everything on the top is littler than the bottom. Aerodynamics. So, I need some two-inch tape. Let's go. Put your cigarette out. Let's get to work. 904. We gotta get this done, dude. Let me tell you why. I asked you to put your cigarette out, bro. Okay, now I didn't call you clown, I called you bro. Take it, take it. All right, put the fucker out, leave it alone. We gotta get this done, because uh, it's going up to Oliver's Automotive to get the tranny put in, so I want this done today. Oh, Daryl's doing it? Yeah, Daryl's putting the tranny in, brand new. Cool. Okay. So we get done right this time? Who the fuck knows? We've had a lot of problems with transmissions. Yeah, we have. Yeah. Alright, uh, I need my cutoff wheel over there. Can you bring it to me, please? Yeah. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this bar off here, and I'm going to cut this bar off here, and then what we'll do is we're going to line this baby out, because if we look at it right now, what's going on is, uh, look what we've got here. Okay, so we've got this tape here. This is going to show us what we got. And then, of course, the uh, convertible top will come around here like this. All right, you see what we got there, clown guy? You see that? All right, so now you can kind of visualize what the top looks like. Yeah. Okay, but you look at this line here. See how high that is? Are you looking at here? Are you watching? Okay, see how high that is? Yeah. Go get some glasses, get your hair out of your fucking eyes. Alright, so what we got to do is we got to get rid of this big giant rake right here, okay? You understand? Yeah. The only way to do that is how? Cut it down. What are we cutting? We're probably going to cut this Well, we're thing. cutting this one definitely. Yeah. And we're going to take about a half an inch out of this one. Alright, we got to bring this bitch down. It sits way up too high, it looks like a clown car, alright, for little clowns to drive in. And we don't need little clowns driving in a hot rod car. All right. You understand? So now it's time to get her done and do it right. Where's my fucking? Go get me an extension cord. You see, the situation you have is this is a kit car. This is a fucking kit car, and the company that made it went out of business. So the real situation is, is we have to modify it to our liking and our satisfaction of appeal. And having a big clown car ride where the top is way up in the fucking air like a, a Volkswagen Beetle isn't going to cut it. Over here, bud. This cuts faster, dude. Okay, now what I did there, I made a mark, see? Just a real light mark. Uh -huh. That way I know those are the left sides. sticks out over there. Yeah. Alright, you know why? why? Why did I tell you? Because, because a car is like a cone. Yeah. It's shorter on the top and it gets fatter. Yeah. Alright, so that's what I'm trying to tell you here. So when we cut this down, we're going to have to cut it here and then we're going to have to bring it in. Bring it in a little bit? Yeah. Well, just, about just hold it right there for a second so everybody can see. Do you see now that See, instead of having it up here, put it up there. Do you see the rise we got? Yeah. Now put it down here. Yeah. Do you see the situation? Yeah, it's a lot lower. Okay, that's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to get that baby where it's a little level. So what we got to do is we got to cut more. At the top. We got to cut a little bit more off. Because we're going to bring this one down to about, can you bring it on the outside there, down? Okay, we're going to bring it to about right there, dude. That's where we want it. So if we want it like that, can you hold that a second? I'm going to put a piece of tape right here and kind of... Okay, because this is how we're really going to do it, see? Because we want to see how, see how it goes a little lower now right there? The arch, the, see the angle right here? Okay, can you put yours down? Because yours is up. Okay, just leave it like that. 
So if we want it like this, this is how we want it. Just a little bit of a bow, okay? Uh, I'm going to uh, hold that right there, don't move it. I'm going to take this tape and I'm going to mark that right here, see? So that's how much we got to cut off each side. Here you go. All right, so what we'll do is we, we already know where we're going to cut this, so we're going to go, uh, we're going to go uh, seven eighths. All right. So if you hold that, I'm going to cut these off, all right? Can you put it up there? Put it on top of there. There you go. How's it lining up? Hold that right there. Let's get our tape and see what we got now. Let's see what the angle is. I might have to take some more off. I might have to get some more off of it. That's still too fucking high, dude. So we're actually taking one more inch off. So we are chopping this top. It looks like it's going to be two inches on the front, though. Alright. See what I mean? All right, so actually chopping a top on a convertible like you're watching right here, that's a pretty easy fucking job. Uh, chopping the top on a, on a car that's got a hard top on it, that's a little bit more difficult. But when it comes to convertibles, I mean, you know, you see what the fuck's going on here. Alright, you see what we got there? Look how short that is. Okay, see the distance between here? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Or not. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. I know so it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it right in the center. Because if we put it over here on the end, that's going to look stupid. You understand? Yeah. So we're going to cut it right in the center. Hold it up, bud. There you go.
go. Check it out. There's our first bow right there. We took about two inches out of the front bow. Let's see what's going to happen with the back one. Looking good. Looking real fucking good. All right, so what we're going to do now is, you can see where it was way up here. So let me show everybody here. So if we started here, you can see the angle that we got right there. What we're going to do is we're going to bring the angle down, hold it right there, to where it's just now hold it level, bud. Okay. Bring it down a little, right there. Okay, now we're going to bring it up just a bit to where, you see how this one's just touching? And then we want to bring this one up right there. Alright, it's just a little bit higher, so that way it gives it that ridge look like a convertible. If you can hold that there without moving it, i got to get my fucking, uh, where's my fucking marker? Where's my magic fucking bitch? Okay, so let's go ahead and double check that. Bring it up just a hair, right? Right there, just like that. Just on a nice good rake. You see what I mean? Yeah. So we'll go ahead and mark that right here. And then we'll cut that off and repeat our process. And hopefully, we'll have a nice chop top convertible Street Beast kit car that uh, hopefully is getting the fuck out of my shop very soon. starting to really actually look pretty fucking good you know this thing started out as a clown act when we started doing all that mechanic work dude but now that that's done we're actually getting something done yeah. uh we got to take it up to the transmission shop over there over at oliver's over at the chicken coop and uh let his clown factory work on the fucking thing because we literally had to go ahead and just buy a brand new remanufactured transmission we got fucked in the ass by the first guy yeah. All right, the first guy fucked us around, charged us $1,000. All right, Louisville Transmission, that's the name of these fucking guys. All right, so they fucked us around, I remember stuck that. it in our ass, and then gave us this song and dance how they did everything they did to it, and it's our fault. Fuck them, okay? Now, I'm going to call them bastards up and tell them to go fuck off one more time just to be on the safe side that my friend Pete did his job by telling him to stick it in his fucking ass. Matter of fact, we might even go over there in person. I don't know yet. But uh, then, the next situation we had was we took it to another transmission shop. They had the motherfucker for how long? I don't know. Uh, couldn't do nothing with it. They said that they don't even know what's inside the train. Now it's time to say fuck it all. Get a remanufactured, uh, brand new AOD overdrive. Put the bitch in there and be done with the motherfucker. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete, working on a 34 Ford convertible car. Looking better every fucking day. We'll see you later. What are you doing, dude? Telling well, everyone goodbye. You're telling everybody to fuck off? Telling everyone goodbye.
Were you flipping them off? But why would you do that? Goodbye. But why are you, that's saying goodbye when you say fuck off? That doesn't even make sense, dude. All right, that's that's kind of an insult there. Like to have a nice fuck off day. Oh, okay, nice fuck off day. There you go. See, you didn't say that. You're just standing there with your finger in the air. Yeah, that's a nice fuck okay, off day. Okay, but that doesn't, you know, that's kind of rude and inconsiderate to somebody that might be watching this that's actually wanting to learn something. They, All right, let's just put a stop to the finger shit, okay? okay. Unless we have, unless there's a reason to do the finger shit, like the transmission cocksucker fuck off guy here, there's no reason to do that. Hey, this is the middle finger factor. Thank you for letting us know that. Middle finger factor, yeah. Yeah. It's a good run. All right, 34 Ford Coupe, getting closer every day. Classes don't stop till you know 